Hi, Amy. Uh, usually I don't respond to uh, questions because I'm um, so busy it's hard to find time to do videos. But Amy, I think that your question was a really good one. What was your breaking point? And just because I think that sometimes there might be pre-ops or, or people who are just interested in gastric bypass or one of the other weight loss surgery methods that there are, and um, I wanted to talk about that because I feel that it's very important to do that. Um, one of the reasons that I decided to do it was because I had uh, type 2 diabetes um, and it was getting pretty bad. It was getting to the point to where um, my legs were hurting, my knees, um, my feet. I kept uh, getting little irritations and I was worried about infections. Um, I had to take tests for uh, nerve damage in my hands. Um, I had to inject myself four times a day with insulin, uh, two types of insulin. And I couldn't eat um, that much of anything. I mean, it, it was basically similar to what I'm doing now, except that um, now it's because there isn't that much room in my pouch. But um, still, nonetheless, it was very troubling for me. I had um, my two parents who passed because of type 2 diabetes, and they had uh, kidney dialysis and um, amputations and things like that. And so did my youngest brother, who was only 42. And um, he had lost his sight. Um, he had amputations and just so many different complications that happen when you have dialysis and things like that. Your heart. Uh, all your organs are taxed and eventually, uh, you know, it's just not a good thing. So um, last year I was really tired and it was taking its toll with me. I felt tired and I just felt like, okay, I'm waiting to kick the bucket or something because everything else is falling apart. And I also had sleep apnea, which didn't make me feel any better, uh, sleeping with it on my face every night just so that I would you know, stop snoring and be able to breathe. And um, after a while, if you have sleep apnea, if you snore a lot, it actually affects your vital organs and um, damage starts to occur in your heart and different things. So that was another concern. And my cholesterol was starting to go up. My blood pressure luckily has been always good because um, I'm a pretty calm person and I take everything in stride and I don't get mad <laughs> uh, but uh, just those things and my knees hurting my legs hurting cramps at night um, those things were really troublesome for me um, I started to do some research and started to look and see what other people were doing with diabetes and then I came across a video on CNN uh, and 48 hours and they were talking about gastric bypass now I had heard it before in the past but you know it's part of living your life and not really expanding sometimes when you're so busy doing other things um, but I started to look at it and I heard about the lap band and I started toying with the idea of possibly having that uh, but then when I um, went to Orange Coast Medical um, Center um, they told me that they were doing the lap band and that they were doing the gastric bypass. Um, I went to one of their meetings and they told me about uh, what would happen with each one. And because I was a diabetic, uh, the nurse took me under her wing and she told me, you know, Norma, let me tell you what happens, you know, for people who are diabetic who have the gastric bypass. Sometimes it's resolved. And many times it's very much under control to where you would hardly have to take any more medications. Of course that has to do with your doctor, but you know, it's something you should research a little bit more and let me give you some of the information and you could also meet with our um, support group and talk to them. I went to the support group meeting and I met a lot of wonderful people there. Um, they talked about their, you know, personal uh, journeys and I was really, um, excited about that, about having people who were willing to talk to you and listen to you and your um, physical and health problems. And um, I started uh, thinking more seriously about the gastric bypass. Um, you know, 
for me, diets didn't work. Uh, they would work for a while and then I'd gain it all back or, and then some. I was scared about the gastric bypass though. But let me go on ahead. Um, I did join a gym, I lost weight, but again, it came back. And it was hard to find time with my schedule um, because I saw myself going up and down, up and down, just like a yo-yo. So that didn't work for me at that time. Um, and I think the worst thing about it was that I felt like I was really getting very old and I just didn't want to go anywhere. I was missing out on family functions and uh, parties and things like that. You know, the things that make life worth living and things. And so I said to myself, I really have to explore this. I talked to my doctor many times over the years about weight problems and the pains in my legs. And he saw the steady progress, progress that I was taking and my health was getting worse and deteriorating and finally I talked to him about the lap band and about the gastric bypass well he's old-fashioned and he was just I really would rather you didn't do it Norma because there's lots of things that happen it's a life change surgery I mean your life will change you will not be able to eat this and that I said but doctor with the diabetes I can't eat that or that anyways and my legs are hurting my you know, I can't, I feel numbness in my fingers. I'm just really, I just don't even want to go out anywhere. And I'm locking myself up in my house when I can and I don't go and do anything anymore. So after a while, I finally convinced him and um, he go went ahead and um, released me to go. Um, the wonderful thing about Orange Coast Medical Center was that they took on um, all those other things that other people I've heard on YouTube have to do. All I had to do was just get there for the appointments. They made all the appointments for me, um, for the GI, the upper GI, for the um, just everything, the blood work, everything. And um, I have to say that when they submitted my request for um, the bypass, it was approved in one day. I don't know these people are persistent and they wanted to to help me because they saw that I really wanted to do it and I was ready mentally for the surgery and it takes a lot it, you really have to seriously think about the changes that will happen to you uh, for your whole life it's just it changes your life um, but I can tell you that if I had to do this every year I would do it again in a heartbeat because I've gotten back my life. I'm proactive now about everything that happens to me. I don't frown upon, you know, going and walking with my friends during lunchtime. And um, I know that there's certain things that I can't do anymore, like uh, eating like I used to. But you know what? That was the whole idea of the gastric bypass is getting everything under control. And for me, it was the best thing that I could have done for myself and my family because now I know that I will be around to go to those parties and go to those meetings with my friends and go out and have a good time and enjoy life the way it's meant to be, not just lock myself in indoors and not do anything. So if you're considering gastric bypass or the lap band, if it's for health reasons, I would encourage you to seek out uh, different uh, bariatric centers and explore for yourself. Find something that's good for you. But if you're a diabetic, type 2 diabetic, I would seriously encourage you to talk to your doctor about it because it made a change for me. And I know that I prolonged my life and I'm really happy about that. And Amy, thank you for asking that question because I really was gung-ho about going on ahead and making this video uh, so if any of you are really thinking about it really go for it you'll be happy that you did